Hello guys, this is Nilesh Kamraj and in this video we are going to see how to troubleshoot issue related to Steam black screen on Windows 10 computer. Some of the time Steam application gets black screen and we can't see anything and we can't use a Steam application. We can't run games on the Steam application and we are going to see how to troubleshoot this issue in this video. So let's go ahead and start the troubleshooting. First of all, I would like to say if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you don't like the video, please hit the dislike. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon to enable notifications for future videos. Also, I have a mission for 2021 to help 100 million people worldwide to resolve technical issues by their own. So let's go ahead and start the troubleshooting. First of all, we have to right click on Steam application, click on properties compatibility and check if steam is not running with the administrative privileges if this is check you have to uncheck this and then click on apply then click on ok so use this method to run the application with a normal mode uh, second troubleshooting method is to right click on windows start menu then click on settings then click on windows security click on open windows security Click on virus and threat protection. Currently it is managed by another antivirus software. So I'll just right click on malware bytes. It is malware bytes installed on my computer. Then click quit malware bytes. Click on yes. I'll just click on back and then virus and threat protection again. So you can see this service is currently stopped. We have to start the service. So now you can see real time protection is currently on. But we have to disable this real time protection to check if this is working or not. Once you check if the application is working or not, then you have to enable this real time protection again because this would be dangerous for your computer if you turn this off and there could be a virus attack if you disable this. So if this method works for you then well and good if it doesn't then we have to right click on windows again and then click on device manager as it is a black screen there could be an issue with the video graphic drivers so we have to expand display adapters you can see different display adapters over here i can see vmware svga so you would be able to see nvidia or amd wala then or intel hd graphics hardware you have to right click on this and then click on update driver search automatically for drivers and then click on close if the drivers are properly installed or you can also search for updated drivers on windows update this would take you to windows update page and then you will have to install the updates from windows update so currently drivers are properly installed if you have nvidia graphics card then you have to update the drivers from nvidia geforce experience software if you want to update the drivers you have to open the geforce experience application and then click on drivers then click on check for updates so you will see the updates related to the graphics card or you will get the message that latest updates are already installed on your computer so like this you have to troubleshoot this issue accordingly if you want to uninstall this hardware then you can just right click on this this hardware and then click on uninstall device once you uninstall device reboot your computer and then drivers would be automatically installed on your computer in case if the drivers are not installed for nvidia hardwares then you have to install the geforce experience applications separately so that's it for this video if you like this video please hit the like button please hit the subscribe press the bell icon to enable notifications for future videos also if you dislike the video please hit the dislike button also remember the mission to help 100 million people worldwide to resolve technical issues by their own and you have to just help me out by hitting a like or dislike whatever you want then comment down if you use my video to resolve your issue whatever method you use to troubleshoot and resolve your issues. Thanks and bye-bye.